to a brand new video and today I'll be telling you what the difference is between prisms and pyramids. There will also be a bonus part at the end where you can actually get a shout out in my next video. So be prepared for that too. So let's get straight into this video. This will be a short video and it's just basically doing an overview about what you need to know. Examining prisms. So here are three examples, a pentagonal prism, a hexagonal prism, and an octagonal prism. Just take a good look at them. Okay, moving on. The prism should be a, should be a 3D shape. It should at least have five faces and six vertices. The prism cannot have a point at the top of the shape and should have two identical faces across from each other. Also, a prism is a polyhedron. That means all faces are flat. Therefore, a cylinder is not a prism, just to clear that up. And what I meant by two identical faces is that you can see that there's a pentagon at the top of the shape and a pentagon at the bottom of the shape. It should be two identical shapes facing down from each other. So it just can't, it can't just end like a triangle top kind of thing. It has to be flat. Examining pyramids. So these are examples of pyramids. And as you can see, they all end with a point at the top. Right here. So this is a square pyramid, a triangular pyramid, and a hexagonal pyramid. The pyramid is also a 3D figure, but it is a bit more different than prisms. A prism a pyramid should at least have four faces and at least four vertices. The prism always has a point at the very top of the shape. Also, a cone is not a pyramid. So these are the cones and there are a pyramid. So um, what I put a picture of pyramids here. So as you can see, pyramids always have a point at the top, right? So it's exactly like these pyramids they always have this little point at the top and they're kind of like triangles but they are 3d okay so this was the bonus part at the end this is a shape that i will not tell you what it is you have to either tell me is it a pyramid or a prism what shape is it you have to tell me the number of vertices faces and use what you learned so, the first four people who figure this out will be shouted out in my next video. I hope you figure this out and hope you learned something new. Bye, guys.